what I call my it ain't over yet walking stick flute. One day I was playing one of my longer walking stick flutes and a woman with a cane came up to me and said, can you make me one for handle? And this is the result of that. This is a, basically a Native American flute. Um, that's a fipple or the bird as the Americans call them. Uh, it's a five hole pentatonic scale. This one here uh, is a side blown one. You blow into that hole there. Um, it's got a stopper on the end. I'll show you these other ones. This is, other one is a, um, a end blown Native American walking stick flute. Uh, this one you blow down the handle, a little hole in the handle, making an end blown flute. See that there? And um, this one's in the key of A, it was a little bit higher than the other one. The other one was in the key of F sharp. Make these flutes in C, A, G, and F sharp. Um, the, the, the length of them, I make them a little bit longer, then you, you can just cut it, I cut them off to whatever length that people want. Uh, generally, it's. Um, the right length is <laughs> the right length is um, the top of my thumb, more or less. So in this case, it should be about um, uh, th 32 inches or maybe 70, 73 centimeters. Um, that's a rainbird we have there. That's what we call a rainbird in the background there, making a bit of noise itself. Um, yeah, so that's it. My Native American walking stick flute. Uh, two sizes, um, two types, um, just remember it ain't over yet.